welcome to You Bet Your Ass. Please welcome your host, Stuart Francis. Hello and welcome to You Bet Your Ass. I'm Stuart Francis, Italy's golden boy of song. Now I'd like to introduce my beautiful co-host. I tell you, if I were 10 years younger and single, God, I'd be happy. I would be so, so happy. Anyway, here she is, the lovely Satara! Hey, Satara. Hi, Stuart. So, do you hope the uh, writer's strike ends soon? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, do you? Yes. Why don't um, we meet uh, them? Okay, here we go. We have Galera, who is a semi-professional bullfighter. We have Adam, who is a street cleaner from Venice. And we have Tammy, who is an unemployed mime. Welcome. I know what you guys want. You want a piece of ass. Okay, contestants, each question is worth 100 points. Unless you want to double down, then it's worth 200 points, but you'll have to get both of those questions right. If you get it wrong, look out, because someone else can buzz in and steal it from you. Keep your eyes out for the wild card. That is your chance to steal 500 points from one of these other players. And you each get 1,000 points to start. Stuart? Thank you. We determined backstage who goes first by the person who could guess what my birthmark is shaped like. With two dogs humping, Galera, you're up first. Let's get you a category. Hit me! One for the money, two for the show. Galera! I ask you, one or two? Double down. Doubling down, she's doing it! In what 2002 movie did Robin Williams play an all too convincing creepy guy at a photo lab? Uh, one hour photo? Judges, we'll take that! Try to get it in before the buzzer. It really helps things out. Second question. Complete the phrase, a bird in the hand is worth two where? Uh... Not that popular. It's been around for a couple hundred years. Don't worry about it. Two in the bush. Adam, let's get you a category. Hit me. What the dick is so soon? Can we do that? We can, and we will. Adam, this is your chance to steal 500 points from one of these two if you get the question right. Who do you want to steal from? Let's go to the left with Tammy. Let's go to the left. Tammy, here we go. Early... Ooh, hey. Man, jeez. Some Tammy heads jeez. in the crowd. <laughs> Early band names. What Johnny Resnick-led band, famous for its name, were once named Sex Maggots? Is it the Goo Goo Dolls? The Goo Goo Dolls is right! The Goo Goo Dolls! Tammy loses points. Adam gets points. Good luck. Tammy, let's get you a category. Hit me! Angels and demons. You are an angel. Beside you is a demon. What do you want to do? I agree. Single I want to double down. Doubling down. <laughs> Meryl Streep is great, and Al Pacino yells a lot. In what 2003 miniseries about people with AIDS? Adam? Angels in America. Yeah. I didn't think it was that funny. Well done, you. Second question on the double down. Keanu Reeves is, is pretty, and Al Pacino yells a lot in what 1997 movie about evil lawyers? Devil's Advocate. Correct. Well done, you. Galera, let's get you a category. Hit me. Actor anagrams. What would you like to do, Galera? Double down. Doubling down. You said it so convincingly. What couch hopping A lister's name can be rearranged to spell, so I'm cuter? Uh. Adam? Tammy? Adam, you don't know? Oh, really? Tom Cruise? Oh. Adam, let's get you a category. Hit me! Black Eyed Peas. Double, double down, I suppose, yes. You're doubling. going to? Doubling, doubling, doubling down. down. Double two. Let's get it started is the radio-friendly version of what politically incorrect Black Eyed Peas dance hall hit? Uh, let's get retarded. Easy, easy. You're right. Well done, you. Second question. Justin Timberlake added his justified political clout on what 2003 anti-war song that left us with the thought of people hurting, even dying? Where is the love? Where is the love, Adam? Seriously. Tammy, let's get you a category. Hit me. Go for gold, Tammy. Double down. Doubling down. 
In 2006, Winter Olympic athletes got their fill of red wine, pizza, and groping in what host country? Athens. Incorrect. Galera, Adam. Italy? Italy. Right, Adam. Tammy feels foolish. Second question. Athletes will complete, uh, compete against communism, air pollution, human rights violations, and each other in what Chinese host city in 2008, Adam? Hong Kong? No, Beijing. But it's a uh, Galera's uh, category. Hit me! <laughs> Family Guy Galera, here we go. Double down. Doubling down. What's the name of the paraplegic police officer character who has an unhealthy obsession with Steven Seagal? Bill? No, Joe Swanson. Ah. And that is the end of the round, mercifully, Sitar. <laughs> Thank you, Stuart. Nice work, Adam. You're in the lead so far with 1,700 points. Galera has 400, and Tammy has 100. And don't go anywhere, because after the break, you are going to see us in a whole new light. That's next. Welcome back to You Bet Your Ass. Aren't commercials great, Satara? Yes, they are. And now we're going to prove that it doesn't feel the same in the dark. Mm-mm, this is the Dirty Dozen. <laughs> Contestants, you're going to be randomly asked four different questions each. When the light stops on you, that's how you know it's your turn to answer. Wait for Stuart to say your name, and you'll get 500 points for correct answers. You won't lose points for wrong answers. Stuart? I like it dirty. What Alice Cooper title track lets kids know that it's once again time to get drunk for two months? Galera. Don't. School's Out. School's Out was a 1992 TV movie featuring characters from what popular Canadian teen series? Tammy. Degrassi Junior High. Tammy. Degrassi Junior Thank High. Thank you. Wait for your names! <laughs> Degrassi High aired on what public pledge-driven U.S. network? Adam. PBS. PBS is right. PBS was the home of what children's television show featuring a man in a sweater? Tammy. Mr. Rogers. Correct. Well done. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood gave what future Beetlejuice actor his big break? Adam. Uh, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton's right. Well done. Michael Keaton was driven to play Chick Hicks in what fast-moving animated 2006 flick? Galera. Cars. Cars also stars what popular get her done blue collar comedian? Tammy. Tammy. Larry the Cable Guy. Larry the Cable Guy tours with what Grammy Award winning you might be a redneck comedian? Adam. Jeff Foxworthy. Correct. Jeff Foxworthy's ABC sitcom cast what tiny actor who sees dead people? Galera. Uh, Haley Joe Osment. Haley jo Joel Osment got paid back with a knife to the abdomen in what 2000 movie? Galera. This is your worst day ever, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Pay It Forward. Pay It Forward starred what sexy New Jersey rocker who is living on a prayer. Tammy. John Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi's right, well done. John Bon Jovi's mother proved she was slippery when wet when she posed for what men's magazine? Adam. Uh, Playboy. Uh, Playboy's right, like you've never heard of it. That's the end of that round, Satara. Thank you, Stuart. Adam holding on to that number one spot so far. He's got 3,700 points. Tammy with 1,600 and Galera with 400. Okay, contestants, it's time to boost your booty, or in other words, up your ass. <laughs> this round is similar to the first round, but the point values have doubled. That's right, each question is now worth 200 points, and you can double down for 400 points, and you each get 1,000 points to continue. Over to you, Stuart. Here we go. Galera, let's get you another category that you have no knowledge of. <laughs> Hit me! Mother Mary! Make me, make me eat my words. What are you gonna do? Single. Single. <laughs> what Bronx-born R&B diva has a duet with you two and, of course, cried on Oprah? Whitney Houston. No. Adam, Tammy, Adam. Mary J. Blige. Exactly. Mary J. Blige. Adam, let's get you a category. Hit me. Music in the dark. 
Double, double down, I suppose. Double down. What famous piano player couldn't see the Billboard charts, but he hit the top of it with Hit the Road Jack and Georgia On My Mind? Ray Charles. Ray Charles is right, yes. I couldn't see that one coming. Second question. You can't make fun of this Italian singer for being blind or his beautiful tenor voice, but you can for having a girl's name. Andrea Bocelli. Time to say goodbye. That's a song about not one lover leaving another, but it's about two lovers leaving together. Yay. Tammy, let's get you a category. Hit me! Celebrities we've seen naked. What would you like to do? Double down. Doubling down, she says eagerly. This could be good. What actress posed naked to have her portrait drawn in Titanic? Kate Winslet. Exactly. Well done, you. Second question on the double down. Fans of My Name is Earl should go find the February 2004 issue of Playboy to see what hot actress? Jamie Kennedy. No. He's not a hot actress. It's Jamie Presley. Oops. Oops is right. <laughs> Galea, let's get you a category. Hit me. Whips and chains. <laughs> Galea's still giggling. Double down. <laughs> We're all having fun here. Doubling down. What super hot hero may have misplaced the lasso of truth in her invisible plane? Oh, I was hoping you'd get that. Adam? Wonder Woman. Wonder, Wonder Woman. <laughs> yes. She is one of Thank you, Captain Energy. Second question on your double down. What martial arts weapon is made up of two sticks and a small chain and can be used to beat the crap out of Chuck Norris? Nunchucks. Nunchucks. You're right. And I believe it's Adam's category. Hit me. Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. Double, double, double Jenny down. Jenny thinks she, double he's down. hot. Double down. Doubling down? What reggae-inspired single from Paris' debut album had a video that made us want to take her to the beach? Stars Are Blind. Stars Are Blind is right. <laughs> Paris provided her voice for an animated viral video called See Paris Die as a promotion for what 2005 horror flick? Uh, House of Wax. House of Wax is right. Nicely done. Tammy, let's get you a category. Hit me. <laughs> Jamie Kennedy. No, Boy George. <laughs> what would you like to do? I'm going to double down. Doubling down. Star Wars, Indiana Jones, great beard. This George is a god. Lucas. George Lucas, right. Yeah. Second question in your double down. What controversial Yankees owner was parodied on Seinfeld and made fun of himself as host of Saturday Night Live? George Steinbrenner. I'm sorry, Tammy. Galera, let's get you a category. Hit me. Name the film, Galera. Double down. Doubling down. Jack Black, a class full of bratty kids. Actually, pretty funny. Uh, Brad Pitt. I, I don't know what what. No, what what what? <laughs> I'll say what what. Adam. School of Rock. School of Rock. <laughs> Name the film. <laughs> Jack Black. Spacey. Rose petals on Severa's boobs. Suburbia. Bullet through head. American Beauty. American Beauty's right. What would you have said, Galera? I don't know either. Adam, let's get you a category. Hit me. Pride. What would you like to do? Double down, I suppose. Doubling down? Yes. Yeah. What arrested development hottie has made Ellen DeGeneres' dreams come true? Um. Portia De Rossi, or De Rossi. Now it's ah. time to say, let's go to commercial break, Sakara. Okay, but before we do that, let me tell you that Adam has 5,300 points, Tammy has 1,800, and Galera has 400. But don't worry, it's still anybody's game, because anything can happen here on You Bet Your Ass. We'll find us a winner right after the break. Welcome back to You Bet Your Ass, or as Tammy calls it, the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. Sitara? Thank you, Stuart. Now, Sitara, you ask, are you wearing that shirt because your job is in jeopardy? No. I'm wearing this shirt because I am a daredevil, willing to risk it all, and I hope our contestants are too, because this is ass on the line. Yep. Contestants, you're going to be given a category of your choice of three different questions in each. 
can bet whatever you want on each question as long as you have enough points to continue and as long as you place a minimum 500 point bet. Contestant with the most points at the end of the round will be our winner. Let's find out who it is. Stuart? Here we go, Adam. You're up first. Let's have a look at the categories. Tiger Woods, you've been canceled. Famous tall people, area codes. What's it gonna be, my friend? Uh, you've been canceled? You've been canceled. What have you heard? 5,300 points. What do you want to wager on your first question? 500 points. 500. What neurotic lady lawyer ditched town with her dancing baby and unisex toilets after she got the boot in 2002? Ally McBeal. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Takes you up to 5,800 points. Your second question's wager. 500. 500. What Fox reality show that focused on reconstructing ugly people somehow got cut in 2005? Scratch of his fake nose, the swan. <laughs> Last question, what would you like to wager? 500. 500, here we go. What NBC trivia show featured a domineering Ann Robinson and said goodbye in 2002? The Weakest Link. Exactly, well done, you. <laughs> Tammy's turn, what category of the three remaining? How about famous tall people? How about it? Here we go, you have 1,800 points. Adam, our leader, has 5,800 points. What do you want to wager? Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. 1,000. 1,000. Here we go. Brad Garrett, who stands six foot eight inches, is best known for being the tall, baritone brother on what former CBS sitcom? Everybody loves Raymond. Exactly. Well done, you. Second question. You have 2,800 points to Adam's 5,800 points. What will it be? 2,000. What famous motivational speaker that stands six feet, seven inches, had a good reason to write Awaken the Giant Within? Oh. Tony Robbins. I'm sorry, down to 800. Your last question's wager? 800. All in, all in. What Jurassic Park author is six feet, 10 inches tall and could probably beat a Trisoratops in a fight? Michael Crichton. Now, Adam, could you lend our Galera 100 points so she can wager? Because you have to have at least, no, I'm kidding. What of the two categories do you want, Galera? Uh, area codes. Area codes, and, and what do you want to wager of your adorable five or 400 points? All, All in. in. You gotta go in on. <laughs> if, you were if you were doing the 604 with some good hydro, what largest BC city would you be toking in? Uh, Victoria? No. I don't know. Vancouver, you truly don't know. Why, why do I... Adam, you are today's winner. <laughs> and Tammy and the giggling ninny that is Galera are not. Guys, thank you very much for coming out. You guys have been fantastic contestants. Please leave. <laughs> Satara. Adam has won $500, but he could walk away with a cool $2,500 right after the break. We'll see how he does in our bonus round. <laughs> Welcome back to You Bet Your Ass. I'm here with today's winner, Adam! Yay! Who I don't know from Steve. Now, Adam, you are today's winner. If you won $500, what are you gonna do with that money? You get to keep that regardless. I'm gonna probably do some visa bill mm -hmm. paying. I'm gonna probably uh, put some towards some rent. Rent? Rent's good. Maybe uh, get a nice pizza. A nice pizza pie. Nice, nice May pizza. I also suggest some energy drinks? Mm. <laughs> But I'm we can get you even more money, my friend. Someone wants to talk to you about that right now. Oh, Satara! Adam, Adam, Adam. $500 is nice, but we're talking big money here in the bonus round. You can choose to answer one question, and if you get it right, you'll win $1,000. Or you can choose to answer two questions, which could win you $2,000 cold hard cash. Double down or not? What? He wants silence. Double, I'm gonna double. He's doubling down. Oh, awesome. Here we go, Adam. Let's get you a category. Hit me. Charlie Kaufman. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Cha-ching. Jim Carrey tries to wipe away the memory of his girlfriend, like he did with Renee Zellweger, and what 2004 Kaufman film? Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yes! I'm excited. 
Kaufman writes himself into the script as a, as a screenwriter who writes himself into a script in what 2002 film starring Nicolas Cage? Adaptation. Adaptation is right! You, my friend, have just won $2,500. I'm Stuart Francis. Does Adam have a place to live? You bet your ass!